Hi guys, welcome to my video. Today I'm going to show you how you can easily fix this blue screen of death that happens on Windows 10. Uh, when it happens you'll see a blue background with this white text. Uh, most importantly down the bottom right it will uh, say critical process died. Uh, now when you get this issue you'll see it in two scenarios. Number one, you'll be able to boot to your desktop and your, your machine will randomly crash showing you this error screen. Or if you're unlucky, uh, when you turn on your machine, you'll see this at every single startup. You won't be able to even boot into uh, Windows Desktop. So let me just show you how to resolve it first, if you can boot to the desktop. I'll switch to my Windows 10 here. So the first thing to do is click on your Start menu, type in CMD, uh, right click on Command Prompt, Run as Administrator. Click yes, and if you run this command, chkdsk space forward slash r space forward slash i, hit enter. Now it's not going to be able to run this process now, so it says here, do you want to run it on next time your system restarts? Uh, type y and press enter. Now if you reboot your machines, if you do shut down power and restart, uh, next time it restarts it will automatically run this scan uh, what that will do is that will fix any corrupted files or bad sectors on your hard disk uh, then that should sort out the issue uh, so try that first if you're still getting the blue screen of death after that um, best thing to do is to update your drivers on your system so what I normally do is I go to Google um, type in your machine type, so mine's a HP EliteBook 820G1 uh, drivers, so search for that on Google. Uh, I've There's a page on the HP website, so if you go there, uh, scroll down, find your operating system. It should list all the latest drivers that are available for your system. So if you just go down and uh, download all of these drivers and install them on your system that will be able that should be able to resolve this issue uh, also the, it's very important you update the graphics the network drivers for your system those are the most important they're going to be most likely causing this blue screen of death crash also it would be a good idea to update your BIOS Okay, I'm going to take you through the next scenario now. So if you're getting this blue screen of death every single time that you turn on your machine, um, we can boot to the Windows 10 install DVD and we can run some repair tools. So insert the DVD into your system and reboot your system. If you don't have a DVD drive or your, your DVD is missing, what you can do is in, in my guide here that I'm going to link to in the description uh, you can scroll down and there's a video here that shows you how you can actually create a bootable USB drive with the Windows 10 install media on it so if you just have a look at that video and that will show you how to easily do it so if you reboot your system here press any key so it's now booting to the USB drive I've put connected to my system and it's going to present us with a, a recovery console uh, for some reason here it's detecting that uh, I've started an upgrade which I haven't so I'm just going to click no there to get past that uh, select your region click next now don't click on install down the bottom here click on repair your computer now we're going to try three fins, so click on Troubleshoot, Advanced Options, first fin click on Command Prompt and we're going to run that same command again, chkdsk forward slash r forward slash i, ok sorry it's slightly different, we have to put in check disk C colon because Windows is installed on the C drive 
So now it's gonna it's gonna run that. It's, it's already finished. So reboot your machine, and hopefully it will boot to the desktop. I'm just gonna exit out of there. So if you're still getting the blue screen of death, uh, boot into here again, and take the same options: troubleshoot and advance. The next thing we're gonna do is start up repair. So if you click on that, and then if you click on Windows 10 what that will do is it will go through all of the like s files that Windows 10 uses to start up and it will check them to make sure they're okay uh, it will fix them if it finds any issues so again run that scan reboot your system hopefully it will go to the desktop if not uh, come back here and go to the command prompt and we'll type another command command sorry SFC space forward slash scan now that is this command is very similar to what we've just run the startup repair um, but it's a different application that it, it performs it with so if the previous scan didn't work run this one hopefully this one will and this should also resolve the blue screen of death that we're getting all right thanks for watching the guide i hope you found it useful please click, click subscribe thanks a lot